So I'm standing in the kitchen of my forever home. The frames are up. I'm so excited to finally be here. Building and designing two different homes within 12 weeks is just complete madness. This is 2 in 12. In our side, our kitchen space is gonna be a beautiful soft grey kitchen. The overhead cabinets and the bottom cabinets are beautiful custom detailed. For the investment property, we're going for a really classic shaker style kitchen. So it'll be all white and then all the door fronts have the beautiful shaker profile. Okay, as we get into the kitchen, you can get a bit of an understanding of the height of the building. Everything's sort of a little bit on the fly at the moment because we're moving so fast. Our engineers and designers can't keep up with what we're actually building. There's been a few delays with the kitchen and sort of locking that design in. Neil ideally wanted to have that in like in the next two weeks and it's just not gonna happen. So I feel like I'm probably gonna hold the team back. There's just so much to do, like doing two houses in two different styles is just so much work on top of a 12 week build. It's just intense. We're at the halfway point. Flooring goes down tomorrow. We should be on track by the end of next week. I'm just here at Unique Interiors. I'm just about to check out the joinery for my forever kitchen. So what we got now, the machine's gonna cut five doors out of that one sheet and then run each door individually to get the product that you're after. Holy moly. It has turned out exactly how I wanted to. I'm so excited by it. I just got here and all of the kitchen cabinetry is here. I have been thinking about these kitchens for so long now. Can't wait to see it all come together because once this is all in, it's pretty much the last big major thing to happen. This is the best detail I think I've ever seen. I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. I just can't wait for the stone to be in. This is an incredible effort. High five. Come on, you're, that was the lamest high five ever. Ow. <laughs> That looks so good. The bench tops are in by Caesarstone. They look really good. I can't wait to see what it looks like once it's all styled up. Twelve weeks and I am done. I love these pendants from Husset Design. I love the warm colour, the clean, minimal shape. Another great element in this kitchen are the tiles from Di Lorenzo. It's a really subtle square tile that I've laid in a brick pattern. I'm an aesthetic purist, that's why I chose this Smeg induction cooktop. It doesn't have all the lines over it and it makes it look really clean. So if you want to get the contemporary Australian look in your home, Try and use some really soft lines and some soft shapes and also contrast the warm colours with the cool colours and make sure it feels relaxed. So we're next door in my investment property and it was really important that we went for something that was timeless and classic. We don't want anything polarising in this space, that's why we went for the beautiful shaker doors and the soft marble stone. What I would splurge on in the kitchen is things that you can see and touch. So the stone, the door hardware, the tiles, all the aesthetic things on the outside. Where I would save is doing more cupboards than drawers. The stuff inside that people aren't really going to see when they're coming to an open house. I feel like it's too good to be true because it's so beautiful and I'm happy that it's over because holy moly, that was pretty intense, that whole 12 weeks. The living room is one of the most important spaces in any family home, so it's vital that we get it right. I think we're doing pretty well six weeks in, paint's already on the walls. Yeah, happy days. Creating two living spaces in different styles was actually really challenging, but I'm really happy with the result.